Let us simulate a single phase full with uncontrolled rectifier with resistive load using MATLAB Simulink. Go to the library browser. From Simskip, go to the power system, specialized technology, fundamental blocks, from electrical source, add AC voltage source. From element, add series RLC branch. From measurements, add voltage measurement and current measurement. And from power electronics, add diode. In fundamental blocks, add power GUI. We also need to add a scope to see the waveforms. Now let's complete our circuit. We need three more diodes. Just take copy of this one and paste three times. To rotate all diodes at the same time, first select them all, then press Ctrl key plus R. Put them like this. Do the connections. Rotate series RLC range. Connect the series to current measurement in order to measure the output current. Double click on series RLC range. From range type, change it to R. And give 20 ohm for resistance. Apply, click OK. Change it is name to R. Then double click on AC voltage source. Give 120 square root of 2 for peak amplitude. And a frequency of 60 Hz. Apply and click OK. Change it is name to VS. If you double click on one of these diodes, you will see the internal parameters and I will not bring any change and keep them as default values. Next, put a voltage measurement to the input voltage source. Mm, and one at the output voltage. Now we need three measurement ports in this scope. Double click it. Go to the configuration properties. Change the number of input ports to three. From the style, let us change the figure color, axis colors, as well as the waveforms. From layout, open three separate empty spaces for three waveforms. And finally, connect each of the current and voltage measurement output ports to the input measurement ports of the scope. You can connect the meter directly by using wires or you can use go to and from blocks. 
if you work with a large system using wire would result in a lots of crossed wires so using go to and from plug will be better in such cases to get rid of crossed wires in this simple circuit let's use go to and from plug click on your mouse type go to we need two more take copy of this and paste two times do the connection double click here let us name it a1 put your cursor next to go to block if you drag it you will get from block connected to the scope now these two blocks are tagged and connected similarly do the same thing for these two blocks a2 a3 now our circuit is completed and is ready to run it change the simulation stop time to 0.04 second and run it Let us see the waveforms. This is the input waveform, this is the output waveform, and this one is the current waveform. Let us increase the weight of these two waveforms the same as input waveform. During positive half cycle, these two diodes conduct together. And during negative half cycle, these two diodes conduct together. So basically the negative part of the half cycle gets flipped over the positive axis. As an output, we get the pulsating DC signal. So to get a smooth DC signal, we need to add a capacitor parallel to the resistor to get rid of these variations. And I will make it in the next video. So see you in the next video.